Hi, my name is Dr. Sarah Bjorkman. I am an OBGYN and a first time mom, and I have gotten a lot of requests to review the two most popular wearable breast pumps on the market, the Willow and the LV. So I'm gonna do that today. So after many struggles in the beginning, I really came to love breastfeeding. Um, but one of the things moms have to figure out um, is kind of how to pump on the go if you're out and about, if you're going back to work. Um, and you may have seen my videos about how I'm kind of obsessed with my spectra. Um, and I've talked lots about, you know, tips and tricks for that. Um, but this week I wanted to talk about the two most popular wearable options. So we have the Willow and the Elby. Um, so like all things, I did a ton of research. I talked to my OBGYN mom friends. I looked in these Facebook support groups. I watched a ton of YouTube videos because um, these suckers are not cheap. Um, so I wanted to make sure I picked right. Um, so today I'm kind of going to just compare the Willow and the LV specifically. Um, I am going to do two other videos um, that will show you how to assemble and use the Willow pump and then how to assemble and use the LV pump. Because if I did that all of this in one video, it would be like 40 minutes long. So um, disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I bought both of these pumps with my own money. Um, and I do realize what a huge privilege it is to be able to do that. Um, and so I just wanted to share with all of you kind of what I learned, the pros and cons of each and what I ended up picking. I also know that my breastfeeding and breast pumping journey was successful because I did have a lot of these resources. So if this is something I can do to help you be successful with your pumping journey, um, that is awesome. So after all of my initial investigating and research, I actually picked the Willow. Um, and after some kind of weak attempts and troubleshooting, um, it wasn't going well for me and I didn't love it. It wasn't working great. And I said, screw it. I love my Spectra. If people see my nips when I'm putting these pumps on, I don't care. Um, but after seven months, um, I got really sick of like being in timeout for 20 minutes uh, when I was at work. Um, and so I said, you know what? Let's throw some money at this problem. Let us try the LV. So I have tried these both, um, have a lot of real world experience with these both. And so now I'm going to tell you about the pros and cons of each of these. I'm going to start with kind of the pros and cons of both of these pumps. So pros, they are both wearable. They are cordless. So you are mobile. You're not carrying around a pump with you. You're not plugged into a wall. So that's a pro for both of them. They both also are Bluetooth and sync to an app on your phone. Um, so that's a similar thing between both of them. Um, and I would say there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve with both of them in terms of how to assemble them, how to figure out your nipple alignment, um, and how to get good output with both of, both of these pumps which makes me want to make sure I say that for many women, um, these wearable pumps do not empty your breasts as well as a traditional pump does. And so, um, you know, if you are continually not emptying your breasts all the way, your body thinks you don't need to make as much milk. So it absolutely can affect your supply. Um, so my recommendation is you make sure you're also using your base pump um, in the maybe in the morning or in the evening or you know check to make sure that these are emptying you. There are women who these can be their primary pump. They empty them just as well. And I'm just so envious um, that, cause I think that would be amazing. Um, the other thing about both of them is they are both very expensive. They run about $500 a piece. Um, and so this is a big investment um, and something if you want to put on your registry or your Christmas list or whatever, because um, it's a lot of money. 
So I'm gonna start with the pros and cons of the Willow pump first. So I have the Willow Generation 3.0. Um, and one of the pros that people talked about about the, about the Willow is that it had this really strong suction. Um, and you know, for the Willow, it has, when it first latches, it has three different levels of kind of this stimulation mode. Um, you have to get a half an ounce of milk before it switches to that super strong suction. It has seven levels of super strong of suction. So you can decide what level works best for you. Um, the other really cool thing, which I thought was gonna be great about this, was that they don't leak if you're using the bags, no matter what position you're in. You can be upright, you can be laying down, you can be on your side, um, and if you pump, you know how annoying it is. You know, you're exhausted or pumping in the middle of the night, and you're just kind of laying there like, upright while you're pumping. So I was really excited about that. I had some OBGYN friends who were like, I did a C-section with my pumps on. I ran to a shoulder dystocia and did a shoulder dystocia with my willows on and like didn't leak and it was awesome. So I thought this is gonna be great. Um, other things I thought I was really excited about was that they have bags. Um, that you can pump into. So it's kind of like a closed system. I was excited that I could pump directly into this bag, take the bag out and not have to transfer any milk um, at the hospital, which is just, you know, kind of dirty. I didn't know where I'd be um, and wasn't worrying about spilling milk or putting it into another container or anything like that. Um, the Willow also is maybe, it has less parts than the LV definitely. There is um, the pump motor we have the flange we have a flex tube here and i'll do you can check out my other video about how to use the willow and how to assemble it we'll go over all this stuff as well as the bag so there are pretty much four parts to have the willow working um, and that is nice and simple easy to clean um so cons of the willow um you know it's uh it is certainly um, a little bit higher profile, bigger than the LV. I don't know if you can see. Um, uh, this is uh, this is me with the willows in. Um, I don't know if you can tell on the video, but here's like the profile. It's not like super obvious. I don't. I didn't feel like it was super noticeable in my scrubs. Um, but you certainly have Dolly Parton boobs. Pause and I'll. Uh, Switch to the LVs. Uh, this is the LVs in. If I didn't tell you, you might not know. Again, a little bit lower profile, less Dolly Parton boobs for sure. The other kind thing I thought was kind of a con about the Willows is they, they're louder than the LVs. They're not loud by any means, um, but there is a notice noticeable sound. I don't know if you can hear this. So like, there's a motor running um, for sure. Um, and that is noticeable. Oh, it's mad at me there. Okay. Um, and he, I'll turn the LV on real quick. Do a lot quieter. So much quieter. Um, so if that is something that is important to you, like quiet, um, the willow's kind of loud. So another con of the willow, I mentioned that strong suction. Um, it is, a, as, along with being really strong, it's a different kind of suction. It's constant suction. Whereas a traditional pump kind of mimics a baby sucking, like something like that kind of motion. The willow is just constant, constant sucking the whole time. And that unique suction um, takes your body a minute to get used to and to be able to have a letdown for that. Um, and so that constant suction can be very, very tricky to get used to. Um, the other thing about the willow is when you order your willow pump, you order your flange size, and they only have three flange sizes, 21, 24, and I think 28. Um, 
And their flange sizes are like a little bit off in terms of measure matching up with like a traditional flange that you would have. So I would say many women need the different inserts to get these willows to work for them. Um, so the sizing of the flanges is pretty tricky. And again, you have to have the flange sizing really perfect to get your output to be good and to have them be comfortable because that constant suction can be really painful and a lot of people complain about um, that it really pinches. So if you get a willow, the one thing I wanna say here is there is this Facebook group called, um, the it's called Willow Pump Support. Um, we'll put a little picture of it here. You absolutely need to join this support group if you are going to buy a willow. It has 15,000 members. There are tons of get started guides, troubleshooting guides. You can you know, post in the group and say, I'm having X, Y, and Z issue and members will help you get the willow to work for you. Um, so that is my number one tip. If you get a willow, join the willow pump support group on Facebook. It is amazing in terms of resources and getting these to work for you. Um, another kind of thing about the suction that is kind of, uh, I found frustrating for its first little letdown mode, you kind of get three options to pick on the suction and you have to get to half an ounce of milk before you can adjust those to those seven levels of suction. The battery life, I actually would put in the pros now that I go back to it, it you should be able to get five kind of 20 minute pump sessions out of that. So that's good for, you know, depending on how many times you're pumping, probably will get you through a whole day or two, depending on how many times you pump. Um, another con about the willow is the extras that are associated with it. Um, these bags um, that I talked about, it does come with some bags, but then you have to buy more and it's about 50 cents a bag. Um, so not super environmentally friendly and certainly not cheap. Um, the willow only comes with one charger. So these, they have a special charger and it only comes with one and like nobody's got time for that. You wanna pump, plug both pumps in and get them charged. So you have to end up buying an additional charger. Um, and if you wanna beat the bag problem, um, you can buy these reusable milk containers. Um, but again, that's an extra cost. And then again, back to the exact sizing needed on these flanges to get a good output and have them be comfortable. Many women are gonna find that they have to buy some kind of insert to get their size correct. Um, you really have to measure your nipple size and then get an insert to put in the willow flanges to be comfortable and to get good output. So those are the major, those were the major cons for me. So now let's talk about the pros and cons of the LV pump. Um, the LV, as we I showed you earlier, is definitely, definitely quieter than the Willow. I don't even know if you can hear that. It is very, very quiet. Um, it also has a lower profile. It's just smaller. It weighs less, um, but it is just smaller than the willow hubs for sure. Um, so less Dolly Parton boobs. <laughs> um, the other thing with the LV, if you could hear that, it's more of a <sighs> traditional suction. Um, and so it sucks like a baby or a traditional pump. Um, there is a stimulation mode that lasts for two minutes, which is kind of similar to the Spectra. And then it also has seven levels of suction that you can adjust. Again, as I mentioned, both of these uh, pumps have apps that you can link to. I really like the LV app um, in that you can control the pump itself um, from the app. Um, you can adjust the suction, you can turn it on and off, um, and you can also adjust how, you know, it keeps a log of each pumping session and how much you pumped. And in the LV app, you can adjust how much, you know, if it says you pumped 2.75 ounces in the right, and it was only 2.5, you can adjust it to 2.5, so it's keeping an accurate log. Whereas with the Willow, you can't adjust the pump from the app. You have to use the uh, 
um, buttons on the pump and it whatever it records for your output is what the log is even if that's not correct and you can have like some issues with air and things like that um the other pro about the lv is while also expensive it does come with everything you need it comes with two chargers it comes with two different size flanges um, a 24 and a 28 um, it comes with two sets of containers um, and so that is really nice you are not buying extra stuff you are not buying extra bags um, it has everything you need with that first purchase so the cons of the LV, um, the thing that can happen is these are not leak proof like the Willow. If you um, bend over or you're kind of running around or your um, container here gets too full, it absolutely can leak, spill, show up on your shirt here, um, and that can be very annoying. I have found with personally that I don't feel like they hold a charge great. Um, I only use mine like a couple times at work and then I use my Spectra in the morning and at night and if it's like if I use them on Friday and I don't charge them over the weekend um, and go to use them on Monday I'm like oh whoops forgot to charge these they're gonna quit on me so I think the battery life um, isn't awesome <laughs> so another con of the LV is that it it has more parts and things to keep track of than the willow we have the pump itself we have the flange the seal then we have the container and the cover and this little valve spout here so there's seven little things to clean and keep track of um, compared to the willows four um, bags are not an option for the LV um, you have you have it comes with containers um, and so you will have to have some kind of storage system for transferring milk. So which one did I pick? Um, as I said earlier, I bought the Willows and I really, really wanted the Willows to work for me. I was liked the con the idea of like the constant suction and them being leak proof and having the bags and not having to transfer milk. Um, but honestly, that constant suction just did not work for my boobs. I also am someone who like has to do a lot of hands-on massage or a little bit of hands-on pumping. And the willows were just so big, I had a hard time doing that. Um, did I work really diligently to get my body to adjust to these? No, I did not. Um, I just loved my Spectra so much um, and per this Willow support group, they said, you know, it kind of takes two to four weeks to get your body to adjust to this. They recommend, you know, you have the Willow on one boob and your traditional pump on the other and you kind of work on training um, your boobs to let down to this and I just like was not committed to that. I was a little bit worried about my supply at the beginning and so was not willing to kind of mess with this or take extra time doing this. So the summary there is, I gave up on the willow and just was using my spectra <laughs> but i got real sick of hauling my spectra back and forth from work and said you know what i'm going to give the lvs a try and i have been so pleasantly surprised um they are so quiet they are pre pretty low profile in my bra um and it's that traditional suction um that has really been the game changer for me. Um, I just could not adjust to that constant suction of the willow. It like was painful despite doing everything that the, you know, support group said and having different inserts and blah, blah, blah. I just, I was sick of it. And the LV worked for me right away. Um, my output isn't quite as good as it is with my Spectra. Um, so I still use my Spectra in the morning and at night, but this is great for a couple pumps at work during the day. Um, and I have been really, really happy with the LVs. Um, the battery life, again, sucks, and you can't like get crazy running around with them because they will leak. But otherwise, um, it's a really neat little pump. So that is my comparison of the Willow versus LV wearable breast pumps. Um, you can check out my videos on the how to assemble and use the Willow and some tips and tricks and my video on how to use the LV as well as some tips and tricks coming soon. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or any tips what you like best. There are a couple other 
wearable-ish options like the Baby Buddha with Free Me Cups, as well as a new um, wearable pump that just came out from Legendary Milk that I am hoping to try. So hopefully we'll have those reviews out for you soon. See you next week. We're doctors. But not your doctors. Anything we've said in this video is for education or entertainment purposes only. It is not medical advice. Any specific medical questions you have should be directed to your provider.